This is the picnic table. This is where the day begins. In the cool morning air, the day seems fresh and full of promise. Fatigue has not yet set in, for the day has just begun. The breeze is filtered by the tall trees that surround me, but it brings with it the sounds of the busy street that borders the farm. It brings the whistle of the SEPTA train that is passing by in the distance. But these sounds are nothing compared with the sound of the birds. I can hear them everywhere, above my head, flying through the trees. I can see the sun steadily rising, the intensity growing by the minute. In this moment, I am alone. My coworkers have not yet arrived. I sit at the picnic table, damp with dew from the night before. In this moment, I consider what the day might hold. The day has just begun, and it is full of possibilities. My coworkers arrive one by one, and we all sit at the picnic table. We talk about what happened over the weekend and share any news. Then, my supervisor lays out the schedule for the day. First, we will water the seedlings in the greenhouse and then check the irrigation system to make sure that the water is getting delivered to each of our carefully planted rows of tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, cucumbers, salad greens, among many others. Then, it will be time for Stinton Camp. We discuss the lesson that has been selected for that day and then talk of what is ready in the garden to be used for the camper's snack. She lays out the work for the rest of the day and we leave the picnic table and head off to our respective tasks. After about an hour, it is time for Stinton Camp to start. We each make our way back to the picnic table and wait for the campers to arrive. We hear them before we see them their childish voices. They sound so upbeat, so happy. And then at once, they are upon us, surrounding the picnic table as we stand to greet them. They sit down, still chattering, their words a mix of Spanish and English. As they settle into their spots on the wooden benches, I scan the faces before me. I see siblings. I see big brothers and little brothers, big and little sisters. Most of the kids are related to at least one other camper. It's time for the lesson to start. Quiet down, we say. Listen up, everyone. Today, we're going to learn about bats. It's hard to keep them focused and engaged, for they possess stores of boundless energy. The lesson is over, and we leave the picnic table and enter the garden to harvest food to prepare the snack. The campers decide what to pick. They eagerly seek out the best tomato, the tallest onions, the reddest pepper, and way, way too much garlic. We make our way back to the picnic table where cutting boards and knives and bowls and spoons have been arranged. The kids sit down and chaos erupts. My coworkers and I go here and there, trying to make sure that no one gets left out and that everyone has a job, mixing, cutting, seasoning. And then the salsa is done. Everyone gets their own bowl and some chips. After playing some games, the children return to Stinton Family Manor, and we are once again back at the picnic table. By now, the sun is high in the sky and has warmed the wooden benches that we sit on. All is quiet during the short break that we take to eat lunch. We talk through the list of tasks that need to be completed in the remaining hours. When our break is over, we return to the garden and continue to work until the sun is low in the sky.